the API for getting a user profile is working perfectly. Let's get back to the front end and then fetch that. So on the front end, we are going to create the API service for that. And inside the API services, users API, and let's duplicate the check-in of user authentication status, which is this and change the name to user profile and change this one to user profile api and the endpoint is forward slash profile and you have to bring in the with credentials to be able to pass the token from the cookie so now we have the api that we are going to call Next step is that we are going to call it inside the account summary dashboard. This is where we have the user details. So let's locate the user account summary, which is users and account summary. At the moment, we have the static data and that is has plan and then is email verified and others. So let's look at the structure again. Down here, we have the statistics as views, earnings, followers, following and others. And down here, this is where we are checking. And that is in case a user don't have a plan. Then we will show plan selection required and then provide a path to click on to take the person to a page to select a plan. Likewise, is email not verified, then we will display this. So down here, we are looping through the stats and then display them accordingly by using the icon, then the value and then the label here. And this is a preview for the statistics. Awesome. So now let's feed with the right data from the back end. So it means that we have to use the use query. So let me remove this one and let's bring in the use query. And inside pass in an object and then the query key as an array specify the user profile and then the query function specify the user profile API. The auto import is fine. And let's go ahead and then destructure what we want. And as always, we have access to the data is loading is error and then the error itself. Awesome. So if I log the data here, you're going to see the user profile data. Let's check in the console and I think the server is not running. So let's try to run and the backend also. Yeah, it is working and let's try again. Awesome. And we have the data here that represents the user. So now we can replace these placeholders with these values. For example, has a plan, email verified, the username, and then the other properties. So let's use them. So over here, instead of using this hard coding, we are going to use the email field and that is has email verified. Let me check again. We have that as has email. Yeah, this one. So here is going to be the data dot email. Well, let's go ahead and then log the email field to make sure that it is working as email so let's see i think we have an error email is not defined supposed to be has email and let's check and we have undefined so I think it is on the user. Yeah. So it's supposed to be data dot user as that. Yeah. So now let's see. 
and we have the email as you can see that the warning is gone meaning that this user has email the reason why we are checking if a user has email is that remember when a user sign up the user can sign up with a google account and as we saw under the passport configuration sometimes not all the user profile details will contain the email so in case the user sign up with google without the email being populated we want the user to add the email because we will need that one to be able to reset or send some email that is why we are checking for has email so at this point the user has email but if i sign in with my google account now have you seen i got this warning because since i log in with my google i couldn't get my email being used so in this way we have to check in case the user don't have email then we will allow the user to update his or her email field that is why we are checking for that and remember this is the condition over here let me collapse this one and let's focus on the has email which is this one so in case the user don't have email then we are displaying this template so let's continue with the others so now i can remove this and let's also check for the has plan so here copy this and then here is going to be has plan let me lock the data here to check the properties well and let's see object and it is called has selected a plan yeah so here as has selected a plan so for this one we will check if a user has a plan if not we will not allow the user to create a post at the moment this user don't have any plan because we haven't implemented the payment so that is why you see this warning as plan selection required and this is the gsx that renders that which is this in case the user don't have a plan then we will display this awesome so let's continue with the others the next one is going to be is email verified so let me copy this and then let me check the property well is let's see for the email is email verified and let me replace with that and also the total followers and let's check on the followers we have the array of followers as we move on we will implement following logic at the moment users don't have any followers and following so let's check for that so here we will say total following is going to be copy this and then place it here as following which is this then let's use dot length to get the total followers so here we are using it inside the start here and we have the views earnings and then the total followers supposed to be this one as you can see so let's see the result and we have the total followers as zero and then the next one is going to be this one is for the followers and then the following yeah so here is going to be this and change this one to supposed to be followers yeah and then this is following and we are using it inside the start here as following and then the i think yeah this is following and followers yeah we are using it right and next one is going to be the total post so if you check on the user we have a field called post which is this so here we can use dot length on the post so here as 
let's bring this one and use it here and change this one to post awesome then the total views well we don't have the views array here don't worry when we get to that logic we will come back and then complete it likewise likes and then the dislikes so let's see the likes yeah i think for the likes it should be inside the post so let's go ahead and create a post in the name of this user i will say that okay then let's go to the dashboard and let's open the console you're gonna see the user with post now we have the post here which is this so for this one we can find all the dislikes and likes by using post dot likes and then we use length on that by the moment let's leave it as it is and we will get there very soon all what we need at the moment is to check if a user has a plan because we are going to incorporate what is called payment and let's use the username here as welcome back and let me copy this one and then welcome back i'm gonna use the right username and change this one to username as that and we have welcome back at Novo Tech academy if i log out and then log in with this email this username let me get back to profile and now welcome massing tech 